Hello and welcome inside the Dennis M. Lynch Arena for the home or opener for the Rhode Island College hockey team. The 2011-2012 Rick Anchorman were just 65 seconds away from claiming the Northeast Collegiate Hockey Association finals last season. But this led to a long offseason chock full of change and a constant hunger to make amends for last season. The Anchorman lost their number one goaltender as well as their team captain off last year's squad. But a young crop of talent will look to stake their claim tonight as instant replacements for the 2012-2013 season. But don't worry, there's veteran leaders in Mike Young and Ryan Martins who will provide leadership and are both constant goal-scoring threats. Tonight, the St. Anselm Hawks come into the Lynch Arena for a rematch of Rick's 2010-2011 senior night thriller that finished 6-5. It's all in front of the Anchorman tonight, and it starts right now. Hey everyone, I'm Jared Ware, joined by Rick Anchorman hockey beat writer Sam Allen. Sam, what's your thoughts on tonight's game and this season for the Anchorman? I think this is going to be a little bit of a hard season for the team. They have 14 new guys on the roster, so it's definitely going to be a lot of figuring out who sits. I've talked to the coaches, and on, they say, unlike last year, where they knew who was sitting, this year they have to really sit down and figure out, all right, who do we not need in a game? So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge trying to figure out all the new kids with the new lines. So I'm looking forward to see what's going to happen, though. I hope they can come back and get the championship again this year. It kills me every time I hear about the game last year. Now, you put together a great hockey preview in the last anchor or last edition of the Anchor. One of the things you mentioned was the young talent and speed on this, ho this new Rick hockey team. Mm -hmm. So can you touch upon that just a little bit? Oh, yeah. There's a lot of the, all the guys that most of them are little. They're all under six feet tall. There's two new guys in Ricky Pannone. He's going to be on a line with our uh, star Ryan Martins. The two of them, fast, fast, fast kids. So it's definitely, that's going to be a fun line to watch. They're just going to have a lot of speed and hopefully just do circles around the other guys. So you, re you mentioned Ryan Martins, Mike Young as well, two of the, yep. the veterans. Uh, can you just talk, touch upon what those two mean to this hockey team? Oh, those two are this hockey team. I mean, I don't want to drink some, but that's what they are. They're scorers. Mike Young's one of the captains this year. He's a team leader. They're just they're ones you want to be on the ice with because you know you're either going to get the puck and they're going to get the assist or you're going to help them get the goal. That's what they go out on the ice to do. They go out on the ice to score. So as we get closer and closer to face off, what is one key for the anchorman tonight if they want to come away with a victory? They got to work on their, penal their penalty kills. They Last year when it came to that, they were good on the power play, but when they were a man down, they really got to work on that again this year. So hopefully I've talked to the coaches a little bit and that's what they're looking for to improve on. So we'll keep an eye on the penalty kill tonight. We're going to step away for a little bit. We're about 10 minutes away from, from face off. Ready to go. Puck drops in about 10. Stick around. Anchor TV's presentation of the Rick Anchorman club hockey team, Jared Ware and Sam Allen. Jared Ware back here in the booth with Sam Allen. We're about a minute and 30 from the puck, first puck drop here, opening the season for the Anchorman as they get, or they're set to take on the St. Anselm Hawks. As we mentioned earlier in the, in the broadcast, last year the Anchorman were on the doorstep of winning the Northeastern Hockey Association <laughs> championship game. Roger Williams, that's tomorrow's game. Sam, you'll be mm -hmm. traveling down to that yes, one. Yes, I will. Tell the people at home how big that game is for the Anchorman. It's definitely going to be a big game, and rumor has it they're bringing their trophy that they won last okay. year to the game. Their fans are also brutal fans. They come up with nicknames for our players. It's definitely going to be an intense game. But rumor also has it they've lost their top two scorers and a goalie just like we did. So it definitely should be an interesting game to see what will happen and what will come of the rest of the season. As we look across out over into the stands, we see a few Roger Williams sweatshirts. So <laughs> have a few scouts here at the game. Have to credit them for that. It's yes. part of sports. So oh, yeah. definitely getting a good look here tonight. Tough on this team to have to play tonight and tomorrow. Luckily, Roger Williams is about a 45-minute ride away from Rhode Island College. Uh, what is that like for the team to have to go on the road the night, the night after playing their opening game? It's definitely hard for them. They have a lot of road trips. It's actually a three-game weekend for them, so Sunday's game is going to be even tougher, but they know this game doesn't count towards the, um, our finals like as much as tomorrow night's game, so it definitely will be interesting. Okay, we're set for the national, anups, uh, national <laughs> anthem in the introduction of the lineup, so I just mixed those two words That's together. Right. So we'll throw the boom mic up, let you listen to the public address announcer, and we'll be right back for the opening puck drop. <laughs>
So, so it looks like the anchormen are going with a veteran first line to start. The forwards tonight seeing action are going to be senior number six, Seth Tobias. Number 20, Mike Young, also a senior, as well as number 12, Brett Mora, a senior. So three seniors in the first line. The defensive pairing taking the ice first is going to be number 27, Brad Conway. He's a senior, as well as freshman, Marco Scotty, number 29. So Scotty, the only non-senior seeing the ice in the first rotation here. In, in between the sticks, in between the pipes, as I like to say, <laughs> is going to be number one, Vinny Tadino. Teams right now huddle up by their coaches. Sam, what do you think the coaches are telling the anchormen right now? This guy's got to win this. we got to see what the season's going to be like. The coaches like to win. There's no lie in there. Absolutely. I can't wait to see the first few minutes of this game. New season, new team. I think everyone's going to be a little on edge. I think whichever team settles first early in this one is going to have a major advantage throughout this game. I'd like to see, obviously I'd like to see the anchormen hopefully get an early goal keep their foot on the gas pedal throughout this one. It would be nice to see, especially after the last Rick Hockey game I saw didn't really turn out that way. Before we start tonight, Sam Allen, I need a prediction. I need a score. Oh, boy. And I need the first goal score quickly. Oh, I'm going to have to go with Mike Young for the first goal score. But I don't know. I feel like St. A's might come away with the win on this one just by a point. St. A's wins, <laughs> wins the faceoff there. They have it in the attacking zone. Wurzberger on the ice for St. Anselm. The first line for St. Anselm is comprised of Jake, Jake Olet, Andrew Sterling, and Tim Millett. Those numbers are not in order on their roster, so that is not <laughs> easy to find. Anchorman have it now, stolen away by St. Anselm. They're on the breakout now. Passes one up into the Anchorman's, Anchorman zone. Anchorman in control of it behind the net. Looking for some offense here. Spencer Rose on the ice now for the Anchorman. He was in control of it for a moment. Frantic start here. Anchorman looking to get settled in this one early. St. Anselm with a nice four check. Sam, what do you think about this first minute of action here? It's definitely been kind of back and forth, but they've kind of had the puck more towards our goal most of the time, and that was a good save by Vinny to start off the night. Tadina with the save in between the sticks. We're going to see a line change here coming in. Off the bench is Mike Nadiger. Martinelli over there. Martinelli as well coming in. Turn that, turn that uh, atmosphere mic up here so you can really <laughs> feel like you're inside the uh, arena here. One minute into this one, a faceoff here in the Rick zone. That's going to be won by the anchorman. Haven't spent much time on the attack here, but they're looking to get something going. A cross ice pass there. Spencer. Rose has got it. Rose fires one. A big save there by Honeywell for St. Anselm. Came way out of the crease to stop that one. Anchorman keep control of it. Looking for a centering pass there. The backhand, and we get an early goal there. Cody Warnock with the goal. I was wrong. That was an opening goal there. Like we said, Love the it. anchorman. Just a minute and 30 seconds into this one, they take the 1-0 lead off the stick of Cody Warnock, the senior forward with the beautiful backhand. Great start here inside the Lynch Arena for the Anchorman. Picture perfect start. Oh yeah, it's definitely gonna be interesting to see Cody and his best friend and lineman, Alex Lyman, on the same line. I think we're gonna see a lot of goals from those two this year. Ryan Murphy on the, or Ryan Martins, excuse <laughs> me, on the ice. Let's see if he's got anything going for him early. Anchorman, pick it up. Shoveled up the boards. St. Anselm, a deflection and a great save there by Vinny Tadino. That was a tough deflection, nearly got over his right shoulder. He's able to fall on that. So St. Anselm almost responds within 30 seconds here. Uh, it looks like we're in for a good one. As I said, the last time they met, it was six to five. This is gonna be a fun <laughs> night, I'll tell you oh that yeah. much. Sparrow wins the face off. Anchorman have it now. Anchorman looking to get the breakout started. This is our speedy line right here, so I'm interested to see what exactly they have and what kind of speed they got. Ryan Huber's got it. Tried flicking one across to Ryan Martins. Rister there from the corner. That was from Walsh for St. Anselm. Tadino's got it, and he's going to cover it up. Anchorman, even though they have the early goal, struggling to get their offense going early in this one. Really, St. Anselm's been a little bit in control. The puck is, they've been on the attack most of this game so far. As we 
you said just a few, a few seconds ago, nearly had the equalizing goal. First line back out for St. Anselm. First line also out for Rick. Cross ice pass was directed towards Defusco. He can't get to it. St. Anselm throws it back into the neutral zone. Conway's got it, throws it off the boards. Rick looking to attack here now. Good check there by St. Anselm. Center nearly got to Defusco, who was crashing the net. A scrum on the boards behind the goal. Looks like Rick is not going to come away with it. Still behind the net. A battle here between Rick and St. Anselm. These are definitely two hard-hitting teams. Makes the game more interesting. St. Anselm now looking to get on the attack. Conway's got it. Taking it up into the neutral zone. It's going to spin back around, slow down the attack, build it up. Young has got it now for the anchor men. Flick, tried flicking up the boards in the direction of Brett Mora. St. Anselm's got it. They're looking to clear it. They can't. Back on the stick of Mora. Throws one in in the direction of Tobias. He tried putting it on oh. frame. And again, the St. Anselm goalie way out of the crease to make a stop. Anchorman offensively settling into this one a little bit more. We got a whole entire senior five guys out right now, so hopefully this line will have a little bit more better feel for each other. As you mentioned, Mike Nadiger on the ice as well in defense. Mike Martinelli, St. Anselm wins the faceoff, throws it off the boards. St. Anselm knocks it into the neutral zone. Rick's gonna take control of it. Over to Martinelli. Martinelli loses possession of it. St. Anselm on the attack here. Pretty good four check by them. Another scrum on the boards. St. Anselm can't keep it in the zone. Over, try getting it over to the left wing. Anchorman take possession here. Mora's got it. Good four check here by St. Anselm. A lot of pressure on the Anchorman. Martinelli's got it now. Tried to find Alex Lyman. Morris got it again. He's all over the place. Puck nearly trickles, trickles all the way to the goalie there. He's got to stay alert and awake on those. That's <laughs> Honeywell. That is not Honeywell on the net. That is Andrew Robbins. We got a little Aww. bit of bad information from the St. Anselm coaches. Honeywell's such a cooler name. Spencer Rose is going to take the face off here. Squaring up against Sparrow. Anchorman come away with it. Spencer Rose has got it, throws it up against the boards. Lyman does a good job crashing it. Anchorman keep it in the attacking zone. Warnock, the goal scorer, leaves it for Spencer Rose in the corner. A little scrum there. Warnock tried to center it to Lyman. Cut out there by St. Anselm, and they're on the attack. Ten just shuffles it forward, and Tadino is going to take control of it, covers it up. That was Walsh for St. Anselm there. So what have you seen here? We're about five minutes into this game. What have you seen? What do you like? What do you not like so far, Sam? I think we're a little sloppy, not going to lie. I'm, I understand a lot of new kids coming in, so hopefully come th after this period we'll have a better feel for each other, but we're definitely well, sloppy. Let's wins the faceoff, throws a quick wrister in there, drive from the point is high. That is from off the stick of Harnish for St. Anselm. And the puck goes out of play there. Little pushing and shoving <laughs> there between, I believe, that is Sterling and Warnock. Warnock getting into it. Like the early physicality here. Face off in the neutral zone. Sterling, or Millette, excuse me, or Sterling, excuse me, is going to go <laughs> take this face off as well as Spencer Rose. St. Anthem's going to take possession. They throw it into the attacking zone. Conway's going to get it for the anchorman. No, he doesn't. He loses possession and a shot across the face. The goal nearly finds that bottom corner, but the anchorman have it now. Anchorman holding a 1-0 advantage here. 15 minutes left in the first period. An early goal from Cody Warnock has got the anchorman off on the right foot, but St. Anselm has been attacking throughout this game. I believe that was Rose who chucked it up in the direction of Warnock and New at center ice. Brad Conway, he's been in possession a lot for the anchorman. Tried finding Warnock. Oh. 
Anchorman have it in the neutral zone. St. Anselm chucks it back it, chucks it back down the ice. Anchorman looking to get their offense going. That's got to be a trip That's there. A trip. That is definitely going to be a trip there on number nine. Haley looks like he's going to be making the first appearance in the sin bin tonight. <laughs> so the Anchorman get the first power play of the night. They'll be on it for two minutes. That was Mark Natalizia who got tripped there for the Anchorman. So a big opportunity here for the Anchorman to extend their lead early in this one. They got the seniors line back on, so hopefully these guys know how to do a good power play. Tobias Young and the goal scorer Cody Warnock are the forwards out on the ice for the Anchorman. Huber's got it. In the corner, over to Warnock. Goes down low, shot is gonna be knocked around there. The attempt came from, I believe, that was Young behind the net. No, excuse me, that was Tobias behind the net. <laughs> Covered up nicely there by Andrew Robbins. I don't think they can find the puck. It seems to be in his equipment. One of the great moments in hockey is when the puck goes up the, <laughs> the goalie's equipment. It is unbelievably funny. Tobias is in the, is in the face off circle, squared off against Sterling for St. Anselm. Sterling wins it. St. Anselm looking to kill off this power play. The anchorman looking to extend their lead. Huber's got it. Thought about the shot for half a second, decides to go over to Tobias. Got to keep the puck moving here on the power play. Mora thought about the wrister, went in the direction of Mike Young. We see another scrum out front of the net, and it looks like St. Anselm's goalie took a knock there as the anchormen were crashing. It's always hard to tell in hockey if they're just faking the injury to get someone in trouble or if they're actually really hurt. Goalie right now, Andrew Robbins, moving gingerly on the ice right now. Minute 30 left on this power play. 13.32 left in the first period. 1-0 Anchorman. Cody Warnock with the goal inside the first two minutes. So an early lead for the Anchormans is Mike, or excuse me, Ryan Martins is in the faceoff circle here for the Anchorman. He wins it. Martins looking to get the puck off the boards here. Anchorman doing a good job not allowing St. Anselm to clear this. As I say that, St. Anselm nearly <laughs> got the clear there. Little announcer's jinx there. Good cross-ice pass in the direction of Brian Luther, making his first appearance for the Anchorman, I believe. Lyman in possession in the corner. Anchorman prodding the St. Anselm penalty kill, looking to get that goal. Lyman's got it. Back up top. Good glove save there by Robbins. The shot is from... Marco. Marco Scotty, Marco one of our new Scottie. guys. Another guy whose number is not right on the, uh, <laughs> the thing here, but that's that's what the early season's I all I about. I apologize for that. Got to figure out who's what number, who is who, who's on the ice. Not just early season jitter for the players, us in the announcers booth, <laughs> we need to get settled in as well. Martins takes the face off for the anchorman. Scotty keeps it in. Throws it into the corner, off the boards. It looks like St. Anselm got a chance to clear, but a go. good job there. That was exactly what the Anchorman needed to keep it in. Conway, the veteran, with a nice move there. And the puck is finally cleared for St. Anselm. Scotty's going to pick up possession here. 30 seconds left on the power play for the Anchorman. It was a tripping penalty on Haley for St. Anselm that set up this power play. Good poke, there, poke check there at center ice by St. Anselm. Martins has got it. Attacking, looks to center one. It goes through the legs of Mark Natalazi, Mark Natalizia. <laughs> That's Scotty's a name we're gonna it. butcher all night. <laughs> Leaves it for Martins. Martins looked to put one in the middle for Tobias, who was in the slot. Nothing there. Saint Anselm has a chance to clear it, and they're out there. And out of the box comes Haley. So the power play killed there by Saint Anselm. The lead still one for the Anchorman. Anchorman going to change lines here. St. Anselm has got a good check there in the corner by Mora. Shot. Quick shot there by TJ Jackvani. Jack Bonnie, excuse me. Huber's got it. Throws it up behind the net off the boards. Jack Bonnie chasing. St. Anselm looking to get the breakout going here. Anchorman back in possession. 
St. Anselm looking to get the rhythm back after coming off that penalty. That's Huber throwing it up, in the, up into the zone here. Robbins is going to take control of it for St. Anselm. He chucks it back off the boards. Anchorman tried to keep it into the zone there, couldn't. That was Nick Bruno on the ice. As we see Mike, Na Mike Nadiger in possession for the Anchorman. Bouncing puck there was tough on Tadino. Good job there getting the blocker on it and keeping that one out. Tadino is definitely good with the blockers. That's what his strong point is. Young Ricky Pannone on the ice for the Anchorman. Battling for it in the corner. Martinelli tried keeping it in. He couldn't. Possession's going to be picked up by the Anchorman here, and Nadiger has it. He's going to chuck it off the boards. St. Anselm looking to get their offense going again. They've been struggling here. Quick wrister there, no trouble for Tadino. Anchorman's got it, this is Conway. Conway's nope, this is Nat Elizia. Nat Elizia, excuse me, Conway's 27. <laughs> all right. Nat Elizia knocked over there by the St. Anselm defense. They're doing a good job here after giving up that early goal. Martinelli's gonna take possession of it for the Anchorman. Really no, other than that one shot that nearly got over the shoulder of Tadino, as we see an icing here, I believe. Nope. Out in front in the slot, Lyman had a chance there with the backhand, couldn't get it past Robbins. Millet in the corner, trying to get it out of the zone here. Lyman tried to try a little deep there to get <laughs> past number 14. Nadiger with a good hit into the boards over there. Lyman's going to pick it up, throws it across the boards. Picked up there in the corner by Cody Warnock. Spencer Rose on the ice, Cody Warnock on the ice. Lyman's going to take a seat as Warnock takes a speculative shot there that's knocked into the bleachers. So we're going to see a faceoff here. It's about 11 minutes into this one. Again, the Anchorman leading 1-0. Cody Warnock with the early goal. Really only one chance for St. Anselm so far. A good one. Nearly trickled yeah. in over the shoulder of Tadino. But so far, this, one, this game has been dominated by the Anchorman. Tobias in the center circle. Can't win the face off there. St. Anselm takes control of it. Mora nearly kept it in there for the Anchorman. Mora in possession there. Or, excuse me, Scotty in possession. Conway on the ounce as well with Scotty. Rister saved into the chest Good of save. Tadino. That was off the stick of Haley, who picked up that tripping penalty earlier. Looking to redeem himself here. Though, even though the Anchorman didn't score in that on that power play. So, no harm, no foul, more or no. less. You just so got to sit and rest for two minutes. <laughs> Tobias and Rowley take the face off. Anchorman win it. Conway battling for it in the corner. Tobias is in there as well as we have the scrum in the corner. Conway working hard, gets knocked off the puck there by number And there's a penalty coming on that 17 one. rolling, and we're gonna another penalty on St. Anselm, I believe. Yeah, that's gonna be Roley, he's gonna take a seat in the penalty box. So the Anchorman on the power play once again. Last power play, the Anchorman did a good job keeping it in the attacking zone. Obviously couldn't get the puck in the net here. But again, first power play of the season early in the game. And that'll obviously get better as the year progresses. I'd have to say I was definitely impressed, especially because a lot of them were new, new lines that were formed. I was impressed in how they did last time. Hopefully this time they can get the back of the net. Martins, Lyman, and Luther on the ice, the forward for the Anchorman. We see Huber on the ice as well as Nick Bruno. Martins has got it behind the net. Gives it back up to Luther, over to Huber. Huber throws one in the middle. Blocker save, or stick save, excuse me, by Robbins. Lyman was looking for the juicy rebound. Luther's got it for the anchorman. Now Martins. Martins, Rister, looking to just get it into traffic there and look for a deflection. St. Anselm's looking to clear. Anchorman don't allow it there. Good job by Martins, kind of tracking back and getting possession of that puck, keeping it in the attacking zone. Again, a good job there by Nick Bruno. Huber's got it. Rister goes a little high there. And St. Anselm, again, can't, cle can't clear it. Huber picks up the loose puck, chucks one in the middle. No, I think, believe that was deflected off Murphy for St. Anselm. They get it up. Here's a chance for St. Anselm. This is Millet, uh, Millet with it. Martins runs him into the <laughs> board there. I 
believe we have a, what do we, what do we got there, Sam? Eh, we got a little bit of a high sticking on Martins over there, and he is not happy about it at all. No one's ever happy to go in the penalty box. So things are leveled up, especially when you're on the power play here. So we have oh, four yeah. people on the ice for both teams. For about a minute. So in about a minute, we'll see the Anchorman's first penalty kill. As you said, pregame, one of the keys for this team. Mm -hmm. How do they stop the power play? We'll see that in a minute. The key, putting all the seniors on the ice. Exactly. Moore is going to take the face off against Sterling. St. Anselm nearly won it. Warnock's got it, breaking away. Possession in the neutral zone by the Anchorman. Over to Martinelli. Martinelli cross ice to Warnock. Warnock looking to deke his way into the net. Got good lift over there by Sterling. Pesky all around <laughs> Cody Warnock. Martinelli fires one inside. Robbins gets a blocker or gets a gets a kick save on it. St. Anselm looking to break out. Good job there by Warnock getting the interception there. there go. He's got it now with support on his left from Mora. Loses possession of it. Oh, good lift there, but we have an offsides call. Mora couldn't get out of the attacking zone there. Seven minutes left in the first period here. 23 seconds uh, at, at even here, and then we'll see about a minute and two seconds of power play for St. Anselm. Jack Monty going to take the face off here from the Anchorman. St. Anselm's going to take possession of it, throws it across the boards there. That's number two, Murphy in possession. Just clears it out of the zone. Conway's going to th slow things down here for the Anchorman. Over to Scotty, finds Jack Vonnie. Jack Vonnie looking for the center. It was Natalizia who was crashing in the slot. He's got it now, no one around him. Wraps around. He's got it in the corner now for the anchorman. Reverses direction. Again reverses direction there, and a good, good check there by St. Anselm. Now St. Anselm is five guys on the ice, we're down one. So the first, Interesting to see what's gonna happen. the first penalty kill of the season, they have to kill it for about 35 more seconds here. Whistle down here, see what the call is. I think it just went out of play. Yeah. 35 seconds on the power play here for St. Anselm. Wow, I'm putting some new guys on the ice too. Larry Anthony seeing the ice for the first time. I'm kind of surprised. Spencer Rose is going to take the face off. He won it against Sterling. St. A's in possession. Throws one up, up inside was Valenti. Again, just looking to get the puck in traffic in front of the net. Valenti's got it. Pokes it forward to Sterling. Good job there by Larry Anthony. Just keeping things clear here. Looking to keep that puck out of the attacking zone for St. Anselm. And I Sterling. shouldn't say Larry Anthony is a totally new kid. He took a year off. So inter interesting to see what's going to happen to him this year. He wanted to come back, he loves playing. Right now the penalty kill looks solid for the Anchorman. And that's the end of that power play for St. Anselm. So only a minute power play there for St. A's, but the penalty kill looks solid for that 60 second period. Puck just knocked up towards Tadino. Off the boards, was looking for Mike Young. Hasn't really got into the game much, Mike no. Young. We've seen more Ryan Martin, Martins in possession. Let's see if Mike Young can get going throughout this game. Brett Moore has got it in the corner here for the anchorman. Skates around with it. Stays in possession. A nice oh, job no. there by Mora. <laughs> He's looking to go coast to coast here. Backhand, oh. tried going top shelf. Rejected by Robbins with the shoulder. But a good little individual piece of individual piece of skill there by Mora. He basically went coast to coast with it. If he would have got the finish, that would have been a highlight real goal. Oh yeah. In the first period of the first game here, five minutes left in that first period. Anchorman 1-0 lead through Cody Warnock inside the first two minutes of this one. I'm gonna, as according to last year, every time that happens to Mora where he misses a good shot, he always gets the next goal. So thinking that might happen again. You don't want to jinx him or anything though. Cleared out by St. A's. Martinelli's got it. Gives it across. That's Nadiger in possession. Stolen away there by St. A's. Kornak got that one. And we're going to see an offsides there. That's just sloppy play from St. Anselm.
Face off Tobias is going to step up for it. He's going to take on Raleigh from St. Anselm. Tobias wins it for the Anchorman. In, pos in possession is Martinelli. Gives it out wide to Mike Young. Rister from the blue line. Tobias has got it now. Tries. Good job. Nope. Battle. The puck. <laughs> the puck never puck moves. Barely stay in possession there. That was pretty excellent. The puck was stationary. We saw about three anchormen trying to take possession of it. St. A's doing a good job knocking it off the puck. And in that mix, we're going to get a penalty call there on McAdams. Or McAdam. Three penalties early by St. Anselm. They need to clean that up. So the anchorman back on the power play. On the ice for the anchorman now, Cody Warnock, Mike Young, and Seth Tobias are the forwards. We're going to see Ryan Huber as well as Brett Mora as the defensive pairing. <laughs> Tobias wins it. Huber's got it. At the point, slap shot into the chest of Robbins, and he covers it up. Huber really wants to get that first goal in the first game. He's taking a few pops from out of the point. That one into the chest of Robbins, who's been solid so far. Obviously gave up that early goal, but has made a few clutch saves since then. Tobias wins it. Up to the point, Huber's got it. Back over to Tobias. Huber, again, kicked it off his skate there over to Mora. Off the boards, back to Mora at the point. Thought about the shot. Skates around with it. Pretty good stick handler is Mora for a defenseman especially. Huber and, Huber and Tobias just playing a little game of catch, more or less. If you play catch with a puck, <laughs> I don't think you do. Mora's got it. Moore actually played defense in high school, and when he came here, switched to forward. Huber so. had a chance to take the knuckle puck there, oh. decided to stray away from that, and St. <laughs> Anselm clears. All the way to Tadino. Up to Mora, who loses, nearly lost possession there. Risky bit of stick handling for Mora. One minute left on the power play for the anchorman, and again, St. Anselm's going to clear it. Huber's got it. We gotta get back to keeping the puck in our zone during these power plays. Luther's got it, lost it briefly. Goalie Robbins left it for a St. Anselm defender. Good forecheck here by the anchorman and the puck is gonna go out of play. 3.03 left in the first period here, one nothing anchorman, 44 seconds left on the power play for the anchorman. Conway on the ice, Huber, or excuse me, Ryan Martin's on the ice, Marco Scotty on the ice, Alex Lyman as well as Brian Luther. Martins is going to take the face off against Sterling. Anchorman win it. Scotty's got it now. Intercepted there by St. A's. Good job there by Scotty not allowing them to clear. Up over in the corner to Luther. Scotty's going to pick this up. Or not. Yep, Scotty's going to pick this up. 25 seconds left on the power play. Martins has got it now. Brings it into the attacking zone. Leaves it briefly for Lyman. Nearly a cross up there between Lyman and Scotty. Conway to Martins in front of the net. Wraps it around Lyman out front and he lifts it go. over Robbins who was on his side. A goal there for Alex Lyman, the senior forward. I actually think that might have been Brian Luther. I'm not sure the little tip action over there. We'll see what they, the refs say about it. Either way, it was a beautiful yep. goal. So the anchormen take a two to nothing lead in the first period. Great bit of play there by Ryan Martins, wrapped around, found the two forwards, crashing the net, crashed the net, good things will happen. So St. Anselm is gonna have to pick themselves up off the floor here. Early penalties have cost them. Spencer Rose is gonna take the face off against Sterling. Refs here talking to they guys take working down. the scoreboard. Power play being taken off the board. Set to restart here, as I said, Rose and Sterling. Going to take the face up on the reset. Anchorman win it. Nadiger gives it up here. Rose has got a good, good poke check there by St. Anselm. Runs all the way to Tadino. Tadino is going to leave it for Martinelli. Natalizia had it for a moment. Now it's over to Mike Nadiger. Natalizia can't control it. Wrist shot from the point is glove saved by, by Tadino. And again, 
a shot on target, <laughs> but Tonino will yeah. be very happy if they if they come at him like that all game. Tonino had the first shutout of our year last year against the undefeated Roger Williams, so Tonino is definitely a good man to have between the pipes for the whole season. Ackerman win the face off. That was Ricky Pannone winning that face off for the Ackerman. A scrum in the corner to our left. Still a battle on the boards there. St. Ans St. Anselm comes away with it. They have now at the point wrist shot. Kicked away by Tudino. He's done a great job between the pipes so far in this first period. Nadiger throws it up the boards. Larry Anthony's got it. Again, another battle on the boards there between St. Ains and the Anchorman. Ricky Pannone had it for a moment. Nearly an opportunity for, for St. Ains. Had it into the slot. And then the slap shot wow. knocked away by Tudino there. Good reaction save. That came through a little bit of traffic. He did a good job getting the glove on that. Shot across there by Haley goes wide. St. Anselm's offense starting to come alive here. Haley had it for a moment, knocked away. Knocked up into the neutral zone. St. A still in possession. Wurzberger has it. Luther had it for a moment. Ex excuse me, Larry Anthony. Mora's got it. He's on the attack again. Nearly scored a goal from defense earlier. Couldn't get a shot away. Tobias has it. And Robbins has to dive out of the crease to cover that one up. 45 seconds left here in the first period. 2-0 Anchorman. Goal early by Warnock. And then we're not sure if it was Lyman or Luther who scored the second. I think the announcers announced Luther. Gave it to, gave it to Luther. I we'll believe give it to so. Luther. We'll give it to Luther in the Works for me. Tobias wins the faceoff. Huber's got it. Rister from the point. Kicked away by Robbins. St. A's has it. Stolen away by Mora. Leaves it in front for Young, who had a chance, but just missed wide. Tobias battling in the corner for it with Murphy. St. A's has got it now. St. A's takes possession in the neutral zone. This is Raleigh with it for the Hawks. Looking to get a late goal here in the period. Backhand from the slot. That was Kornak. I believe that was kicked away by Tadino. Six seconds left here. If St. Anselm keeps playing like this throughout the game, this is going to get real interesting real quick here. And that's the end of the first period. 2-0 Anchorman. Warnock and Anthony credited with the goals. So as we go to the intermission, the Anchorman in the lead will step away for a few moments. We'll be back with an interview. Can we get an interview here? I believe so. I'm going to grab a coach right now. All right. Stick around. With me right now is Rhode Island College assistant coach Anthony Calcione, Cal, as we all like to call him. All right, so the first period, pretty impressive. You guys got two goals on St. A's right now. A lot of power play kills. What can you say? Last year, the power play was a little iffy. What would you guys do this year? Uh, we tried putting five guys together to work their own system instead of going, this is how you're going to go out there, this is how you're going to do it. We, uh, we put five guys we thought we could work together, and uh, we kind of tried out a couple of different things. So far, it's worked. Oh, definitely. So it's good. First period jit is they got through it, so that's what I'm happy about right now. Good, and the f new freshmen seem like they got the swing of things. How would you guys – Figure first, them all out. <laughs> first shift was a little rough for them, but they rebounded <laughs> pretty well. Um, we just kept stressing. I mean, if you notice, every freshman's with a senior. Uh, it's good. They have someone there to help them out. You know, it's one thing to listen to a coach helping you out. When you have someone that you're playing with going on the ice battling with every shift, that helps out a lot more. So they all had not a bad first shift, but you can see the jitters passes were a little bit off, uh, trying to go for a big hit or a breakaway, but they settled down very nicely. What are you going to go tell them in the locker room so they can stay with it and keep this up in the second and third periods? exactly what you just said stay with it and keep <laughs> it up <laughs> all right good i'm glad i'm part of the pep talk <laughs> all right well thank you cal no problem we're going to be talking to coach gwynn at the after the next period all right stay with us we're going to be back with the second period with anchorman hockey back inside the lynch arena two nothing in favor of the anchorman after one period jared Ware here with sam allen sam what are your thoughts on that first period a pretty dominant period, if, if I do say so myself, by the anchorman. You took the words right out of my mouth there. We definitely dominated in that period. Vinny only saw the puck come towards him a few times. We're looking a lot neater than St. A's is at this time. 
late in that period, though, St. A's did have a few chances here. I yes. wonder if they're going to build on that momentum here. Could be an interesting second period if they're able to do that. Oh, I think so. They were definitely, I talked to the St. A's coaches before the game. They said they have a lot of new kids, too. So I'm thinking it just took them a little longer to get a feel for each other. Millet and Tobias are going to take the face off here to start the second period. On the ice for the anchorman, Millet, Mora. Millet's definitely on St. A's there, Jared. What's up? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. Um, <laughs> Excuse me, Tobias Young, Mora Conway, as well as Marco Scotty, the freshman. And for St. A's, we have Millet, number 16, Wurzberger. That's a great last That's name, awesome by last the way. Name. Millet on the ice, <laughs> Harnish on the ice, as well as number 14, Olette. A lot of the attackers for St. A's have been quiet. Mora's chasing the puck down. We're going to get an icing call there early to start this first period. About seven seconds in, we get the first whistle. Face off here in the attacking zone for St. A's. Millet and Tobias, I believe. Yep. Excuse me, that was Sterling, and a wrister it nearly goes in there off the inside wow. of the pipe there, off the stick of Harnish. He's I had thought I saw shots. that go in. I, wow. That's going to be close. If there was review, as, it, as there <laughs> is in the NHL, they might have had to take a look at that one because that was as close as you can get to scoring a goal and not getting anything. So Tobias and Sterling go back and take the face off. Anchorman win it. Conway across the boards over to Young. He can't take control of it. Mora's got it. Mora's flying He's up the ice. He's got Tobias to his left. If he can center one backhand by Tobias, stopped by Robbins, and the, and the net knocked off the pegs. So we're going to get a stoppage in action here as they have to reset the net there. Good breakout by the anchorman. Mora nearly found to, or he did find Tobias in the slot. The backhander just stopped by Robbins. Good save by Robbins. Oh, yeah. I give it to him. We've had three whistles in less than 30 seconds, man. Crazy 30 <laughs> seconds there. We nearly saw the goal from Harnish for St. A's. And then just now, Tobias had a chance to extend the lead to three. This is going to get exciting here in the second period. I can feel it. Good. Exciting hockey is always the best kind of hockey. Conway throws it off the boards. Tobias is giving chase. Scotty's got it. Over to Conway at the point. Throws one in towards the middle, looking for Mora. St. A's has got it behind the net. That's Terra Nova in possession for the Hawks. Conway's got it now. Slows, thing up, slows things up in the neutral zone. Tobias has it, loses possession of it. St. A's in possession once again. Knocking into the attacking zone. Haley's going to give chase for the Hawks. In the corner, Haley and Conway battling for it. St. A's has got it behind the net for a moment. Good job by the Anchorman D taking possession. Then they lose it there. <laughs> they thought they had the puck and they just kept going. A half chance there for Kornak. Knocked up in the direction of Robbins off the stick of number 21, Cody Warnock, the goal score, the opening goal scorer of the season there. That's a fun fact for you. <laughs> we'll see if anyone remembers that towards the end of the season. Warnock's oh, got okay. it now. Tried to deke his way around Valenti. Nearly got past him there. Kept in by Martinelli. And St. Anselm trying to clear. They've been having trouble clearing the puck all night, have the Hawks. Nagger, Nadiger's got it, throws it off the boards. Back to, to Murphy with possession for St. A's. Gives it off to Valenti. He's breaking out with it. Just takes a slapper from the red line. Again, shot on target, but not difficult for Tadino. He should have brought a book at this rate. It's been an easy <laughs> night for him. Could have got some, some reading done. <laughs> Deflected there off the hand of Murphy. That's got to sting a little bit. That came off the stick of Cody Warnock. Ooh, those are hard shots, too, from Warnock. He was known for those last year. He's so like the Zdeno Chara of our team, you can say. I saw Zdeno Chara playing for his Czech league a few days ago against... Um, Ovechkin. Yes, Ovechkin. Yeah. That was interesting that was the KHL was on ESPN. It was awesome. Some hockey on national TV at a professional level, obviously the NHL in a lockout at the moment. This is all we got here, Rick Hockey. Exactly. This is entertaining stuff. Martin's giving chase behind the net. Scrum in the corner. 
Panone was over there. Wrist shot from, I believe that's Natalizio. Natalizia? Natalizia. Still working on these names. Huber's <laughs> got it. Looking to keep it in the attacking zone. They do. This is Natalizia. Tries to center one. Kick save there by Robbins. Panone was giving chase. Nearly latched onto that. Was at a difficult angle. I don't know if he would have scored from there. But traffic in front of the net. Would have been a cool goal if he did. That was a nice little, little bit of footwork there from Walsh. Nearly kicked it behind his other foot. Slap shot. That was off the stick of, I believe, Nick DeFusco. Went wide left. Huber looking to get it back into the attacking zone. Picked up by number 18, Brian Luther. And we have another stoppage of play here. A lot of whistles early yeah, in this so one. 16-41 in the second period. Anchorman up 2-0. Cody Warnock opened the season up with a goal. And then Brian Luther fired home on the power play to give the Anchorman the 2-0 lead. St. Anselm came close early in the second period off the stick of Harnish, who hit the inside of the post, may have crossed the line, we'll never know. <laughs> Rister from the point off the stick of Scotty. Scotty, slap shot, knocked off the roof and out of play. Took a deflection there off, I believe, that was number 14, Olette. I'm this curious to see how Scotty hits. When I talked to Coach at the beginning of the season, he, and I quote, hits like a bus. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm curious to see if it's going to come out tonight. Sterling and Luther are going to take the face off here. And this first line for St. A's has been ineffective all night long. They have to try and get something going. Conway's got it. Looking in the, direc the direction of Jack Vonnie. Stolen in the neutral zone there by uh, Scotty. Scotty lays it off to Luther. Oh, no, in was traffic. There on that one. Conway keeps it in the attacking zone, throws it up against the boards. Luther's got it, looking to center in the direction of Defusco. Good job intercepting that pass by the defense of St. Anselm. Slap shot from the point off the stick of Scotty. Believe that got deflected in front of the net. I don't think it got all the way to Robbins here. And here's the so. breakout by St. Anselm. Sterling, he's got Millet. It's going to center to Millet, and he couldn't get a stick on it. To Dino, the puck is still loose the in the crease. Wow. A great opportunity for St. Anselm. Sterling broke down the left, centered for Millet. Just couldn't get the stick on it. Good job defensively there by the anchorman getting back, at least getting a stick in the vicinity of Millet, giving him something to think about there. To Dino did a good job as well, keeping that one out of the net. Definitely the closest shot on goal that the Hawks have had all night. Just talked about how that first line for St. Anselm has to start producing there, and there is a chance to cut this lead in half. Burns is in the circle as well as Tobias for the anchorman, and he wins it. And, and a we're whistle. Gonna get a whistle there, another one. Martinelli picks up the puck, tosses it over to the ref. And we have a penalty. That's going to be Ooh, matching. You see two penalties there. Yeah, very interesting. I've never seen that before. Mike Young and Anthony Murphy are going to go to the sin bin each. So it's four on four <laughs> hockey. Not exactly sure what the penalty was for. I'll listen in when the announcer says it. Burns and Tobias getting set to take the face off here. Valenti's got it, throws it back just in traffic in front of the net. Got all the way to all the way to Tadino. Looked a little surprised there, but kept the five hole close, kept it out. Another whistle. This has been a stop start <laughs> period here. And, and Tobias, Tobias is going to go. So For a trip on Tobias. So Tobias and Young both in the wow. penalty box for the anchorman. It's four on three hockey. We talked about the penalty kill. I don't think the anchorman coaches were expecting yeah, no. four on three <laughs> at any point. Not this soon in the season at least. So we have a minute 56, I believe, a four on three. Yes. And then about four seconds, I think, of... Five on four. We'll, f well, I'm all, we'll figure it out. <laughs> when it It'll work itself out know. here. Mora's going to take right, the though. face off here. Sterling wins it for St. Anselm. Valenti's got it. Skating around it. Back up top. Harnish has got it. Back over to, to Valenti. Over to Harnish. Mora trying to hassle him. Loose pass there by Harnish. Sterling keeps possession of it for the Hawks. Valenti's got space. Thought about the shot for a moment. Harnish with the slapper and a great glove wow. save there 
by Vinny Tadino. Like I said, that is what Vinny is known for. You hit him a slap shot, he will get it with his glove. Great job there by Tadino. One of the better efforts by, by St. Anselm tonight there. Tadino rises to match it. On the ice now, only three of them for the anchorman. It's Huber, Huber, Warnock, as well as Bruno. Bruno just cleared that momentarily for the anchorman. St. Anselm has it in the neutral zone. Over to Millet, who just gives it away. Good job intercepting that pass by Warnock. It's going to run all the way down to goaltender Andrew Robbins. St. Anselm rebuilding here. On the attack now, four on three hockey. Up against the boards, Tadino picks it up behind the net. Lays it off for Huber, it's gonna go off the roof and out of play. So we'll have a face off in the attacking zone for St. Anselm. First line, first line for St. Anselm on the ice comprised of Oilette, of Olette, excuse me, Sterling and Millet, Millet. Huber, Warnock, and Bruno on the ice for the anchorman. A lot of empty ice space. Let briefly won the face off. Sterling loses possession of it, picks it back up, fires it in the attacking zone. That goes out of play. I mean, this has been <laughs> on. This is pretty funny. This is stop start stuff here. Four on three hockey. Neutral zone face off here. This has probably been the longest penalty ever. Line change. Huber and Bruno take a seat. Conway and Scotty come back on the ice for the anchorman. Only one forward on the ice for the anchorman, and that is Cody Warnock. Robbins has got it for the Hawks. Throws it up against the glass. Millette's going to pick it up for the Hawks. They're looking to get something here. Cut into this 2-0 deficit. They have the advantage there. Great poke check and open ice by Cody Warnock. Now he's on the break. His poke check responded there by number 19, Harnish, for the Hawks. Hawks have got it again. On the attack once more. Harnish up to, up to Sterling. Anchorman in possession here in the corner. Kept in the attacking zone there by Millette. Tadino's got it. Lays it off for Conway. Conway's just going to throw it off the boards. Intercepted there by the Hawks. That was Millette. Olette's got it. And out of the box Young comes Mike out. Young. So it's four on four. Also coming out of the box for the Hawks is Anthony Murphy. And here's Tobias out of the box. Tobias comes <laughs> out of the box as well. So we're back at full strength here for both sides. Five on five, two nothing, and another good penalty kill by the anchorman. Definitely says something about the Hawks that they couldn't score when it was, when it was four three. Scotty couldn't clear it. Checks Anthony Murphy, Murphy into the boards there. Good job by Scotty. Lost possession, but cleans up defensively. Battle in the corner. Conway was over there. Tobias was over there. Young has got it now for the anchorman. It trips yeah, before trips he can pick up possession there. Anchorman have got it. Scotty throws it off the boards. Valenti slap shot from the blue line. Glove saved by Tadino. That was going high anyways. Mora's going to pick up possession here in the neutral zone for the anchorman. Mora's definitely been good with the stick handling tonight. Mora wraps around, looks to throw it in front to Lyman. He can't keep possession of it. The Hawks have got it. This is Kornak. Throws it up in the attacking zone off the boards to Dino. He takes possession. Pass into open ice there, so St. Anselm keeps possession of it. Centering pass in the direction of McAdam. Good job by the anchorman defenders, not letting it get to him. St. A's has got it. Valenti in the neutral zone, throws it back in off the boards. Martinelli's going to pick it up, pokes it in the direction of Lyman. Lyman's battling for it in the neutral zone. Millette's got it. Wrist shot off the chest of Tadino, and then the rebound fell to McAdam. Couldn't get it past Tadino, though. Anchorman giving chase to a loose puck. Knocked around back by St. Anselm. Millette's got it. Center ice there kicked along by number 17, Rowley. Battle in the neutral zone here. Knocked off the boards, Huber's got it. Anchorman in possession now. Bruno's got it, now Huber. Huber there, nice hit there by number 14, Olette. Sterling's got it, wrist shot to Dino. 
Saves that one, knocks it behind. Huber's got it. St. Anselm getting better and better chances as the clock runs here in the second period. Just over 11 minutes left in this one. Thrown into the attacking zone by Spencer Rose. Little oh. check there by Robbins on, on Ryan Martins. He goes down, wrist shot there. Puck's loose in the crease, and knocked away there. That's underneath a, the pile. Got a battle out front. That was Martins underneath, I believe that was number 19, and there Harnish. And no call. At least I don't think so. Little oh, and a little and push and shoving, and shoving there. there. That's the last thing Ryan Martin needs. You push him, he will push you I back. Don't, I don't think Sterling liked Martins the way he crashed the net no. there. Made a little contact with Robbins, but we saw Robbins hip check Martins as he came by, so... Interesting, interesting to see how that develops throughout this game. Martins may be little, but he's feisty. Martins is going to take the face off and win it for the anchorman against Burns. He's got it here in the corner. Leaves it for Larry Anth, or excuse me, that's Nataliz no. Natalazia. No goal. Martins thought he had that one, and they ruled it a no goal. Couple close calls here. The net got knocked off the pegs again. Panone on the ice, Martins on the ice, Mark Natalizia on the ice, Conway as well as Scotty. Another whistle. I think Martins didn't get set there no. in, the, in that circle. He's squaring off against Burns there. So we're going to do it again. Scotty having a little discussion there with Martins. I wonder what they're setting up. Maybe a quick one-timer off the face-off. Doesn't matter. They don't nope, win it. Nope, doesn't matter. St. Anselm's got to clear it. They do, only to Conway at center ice. Conway loses it. Him. Quick bit of skating here by Haley. He's in possession and then trips over his feet. <laughs> Nearly an opportunity there for St. A's. Haley, though, showing some speed on the ice. This is our speedy line right here. Natalizzi has got it for the anchorman. Drops it behind for Martins, and Martins gets blown up by Burns in the slot. Huge hit there. Probably the biggest hit of the game so far. Oh, definitely. Haley's got it. He's going to look to get into some open ice so he can open the afterburners. Just throws it into the attacking zone. Tadino's got it. Throws it up against the boards. Natalizzi in possession. Plays it back to Martinelli. Martinelli back up to Natalizzi. Leaves it for Brian Luther. Luther attacking down the left wing. Deeks inside. Tried going for that bottom corner. And again, the net off the pegs. Another stoppage of play here. We got to figure that out down net on this. Net off the pegs, Anchorman under Hawk. Uh, it's just the same pattern this we've been seeing all game. That's happened about <laughs> four times in this period. We didn't see that happen at all. Nope. But that just means the Anchorman are crashing the net hard. Luther. Jack Vani, DeFusco, the forwards here for the Anchorman, Martinelli as well as Nadiger on the ice as the defensive pairing. St. Anselm has it in the, new, in the neutral zone. Terranova just throws it up in the direction of Tadino. He leaves it off for Martinelli. Valenti in possession now for St. Anselm. Again, just throws it back into the attacking zone. Nadiger off the boards. Valenti's got it for St. Anselm. Looking forwards in the direction of Raleigh. All the way to Tadino again. Loose pass there. Millette's got it. Good job there by, uh, I believe, that was Defusco getting a stick on the stick of Millette. Didn't allow him to get the shot off there. Nadiger up the boards only to, to Wurzberger. Wurzberger throws it around the boards. Millette's got it. Now Sterling, slap shot from the point and a great Whoa, there save there, glove side by Tadino. Harnish has got a shot on him. He's got about three good ones off that stick. Tadino says no way. You think they'd know by now you hit glove side, he's just going to catch it. That was a tough one too. That it wasn't was. up over his shoulder. He had to really awkwardly contort his arm there to get the glove on that one. Good job by Tadino, who right now doesn't look like he's going to let anything past them. But because I said that, that's but probably the announcer's <laughs> curse right there. As there Haley go. goes wide doing? with a slapper. <laughs> Huber's got it in the corner. Trying to clear it. Good forecheck here by St. Anselm. 
centered or he at least tried to get the center and was Burns was looking for Anthony Murphy who was crashing through the slot. Lyman's got it. One-on-one -on -one with the goalie here. There and he gets go. it to go there. Alex Lyman, great job there. Picks up the puck and open ice, backhands it into that bottom corner and gets it past Andrew Robbins. 3-0 here for the anchorman. Huge mountain to climb here for the Hawks. Definitely, we got a good, solid 3-0 lead. I'm excited. Great bit of finishing by Lyman. Kept his composure in front of the net. Was one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. Went backhand. A little extra style points there. There you go. Why just get a normal breakaway? Spencer Rose wins the faceoff for the anchorman. Now up three. Vinny Tadino. He's been immense between the, between the pipes tonight. McAdam had it for a moment. Good job there tracking back by Cody Warnock. Good lift there. That was on Rowley who had possession in the slot for a moment. Thrown into the attacking zone. Huber has got it in the corner. Off the boards. Warnock now on the stick of Rose momentarily. Lyman giving chase. In the neutral zone now. Thrown into the attacking zone and Murphy's got it for St. A's. St. A's just being outclassed at this point right now. McAdams backhands it all the way to Tadino. I think now is a good time to add that St. A's is also in a division higher than Rick is. So this is how Rick is playing against a Division II team. I'm interested to see how it's going to go against the teams in our division. Molette did a good job getting it out front. Nearly ran to Olette, but a good job by the defense of the anchorman lifting the stick of Olette. Couldn't get the shot off. And again, Robbins way out of the crease to make the stop. Young, and I believe that is number 13, Terranova, get into it. Just a little bit of pushing and shoving. Nothing serious. It's all in good fun. Boys will be boys. <laughs> Face off here in the attacking zone for the anchorman. Tobias is going to take it. Burns is going to step up for St. Ace to take it. In possession now of St. Ace. Puck lifted for a moment. Haley. Murphy's got it. Big collision there in the go. corner there. Good job by Moore. Or, or, excuse me, that was Scotty with the collision on Anthony Murphy. Puck right wow. in the slot. No one for St. A's to look to clean it up. Valenti, a poor job clearing it. Moore has got it. Leaves it in front for Young. And Young, good bit of stick handling, but a late poke check, I wow. believe, by Burns, who came all the way back from center. Big defensive play there by Burns. Could have been 4 nothing. Would have been game over. Slap shot. Scotty misses wide left. Slap shot there by Conway. <laughs> Another he slap misses. shot. Nah. Young leaves it for Martin. And Scotty's with the penalty. Or actually. Looks like we have a penalty here. Not sure who it's on. I believe it would be on Scotty. It's going to be on Marco Scotty, the a freshman. High stick. We had Martins and Young on the ice for the first time together. The veterans, the goal scorers on this team, neither have registered a goal Why not? yet. Warnock, Luther, Lyman, the scorers tonight for the Anchorman, 3 0. 621 to play here in the second period. My predictions were a little wrong in the beginning of the game. Predictions are tough. They are, especially tough the first, first game. game. Exactly. exactly. Yep. Can't always base it on last year. Jack Vonnie and Sterling. St. A's won it. Murphy's got it. Murphy over to Harnish. In the corner, back up to Harnish. He ooh, thought about the shot. He's got a big he's got a cannon for a shot. Rister into the chest of Tadino. Scramble in front of the net, nothing there. That came off the stick of Olette. Wide open, just around the faceoff circle there. Got the wrister off, but only finds the chest of Tadino. Natalizia won it for the anchorman. Murphy's got it in the corner for St. Anselm. He's got Harnish up top. Harnish is going to think about taking the shot. Rips one, deflected to Dino. That a was a reflex good save, save there. By Marty. A lot of traffic wow. in front of Tadino. Just kind of flapped at it, but got an arm on it, knocked it away. Stays 3 0. Harnish has been the offense right now, the defender, taking slap shots from the point. Nearly had a goal early in this period, not allowed. Martin's on the ice, lost his stick. A He's stick. still battling. <laughs> Murphy's got it for St. A's. Over to Olette. Martinelli briefly clears it. 
Harnish has got it off the boards. Murphy. Murphy coming through the neutral zone. And we're going to get an offsides call there on Sterling, who was looking right down the line. That's just a <laughs> mental mistake there for St. A's. 52 seconds left on this power play. St. A's, in all honesty, they need to go on this power play if they want to make this a game down 3 nothing. Opportunities have been scarce. Burns, Martins wins the faceoff for the anchorman. Valenti's got it. Up towards Haley. Now in possession by Burns. Attacking. Rister. Rebound out oh, front. Wow. Our defense is on point. Kick save by Tadino. Bruno does not allow Anthony Murphy to clean up that rebound. That's what you need. You can't just have a good goalie. You need to have a good defense to back him up. In the corner, Haley's got it. Loose pass there, picked up by Mora. Mora just looking to hold possession of it. Again, Anchorman on the, on the penalty kill right now. Only 12 seconds left. Huber's going to pop a shot right into the chest of Robbins. Just killing oh, time Oh, and Mora is going at it. Mora, and that's Murphy mixing it up there for St. A's. 10 seconds left on this power play. Line change here by St. A's. Larry Anthony's going to take a seat. Pannone comes back. Excuse me. Not Elysia. That's number 19, not number 9. Bruno who comes on the ice. Ned Elysia takes the face off against, I believe that was Rowley. Anchorman in possession. Three seconds left on the power play for St. A's. Good, another good penalty kill by the Anchorman as Scotty pops out of the penalty box. Huber clears it into the neutral zone. Natalizzi has got it. He's got wheels. Yeah. Gets past the defender, leaves it in front. Good save there by Robbins. It's still loose. Wow. Natalizia gets past Wurzberger, centered it, and I believe that was Nicky Bruno crashing the net. Excuse me, Pannone crashing the net. Another good chance for the anchorman. Up three right now. Natalizia has got some speed. You were right <laughs> in the pregame. These young speedsters for the anchorman causing all sorts of problems. We might not have the height, but we have the wheels. St. A's has got it. Conway over to Scotty. Scotty looking for Natalizia. Murphy's got it now. St. A's on the attack. They need to get something going. Walsh try to wrist her there. The backhand runs all the way to Tadino. Looks like Martins is going to take this face off, and it looks like Sterling's going to meet him. 3.48 left in this second period. Oh, oh Martins goes off. Oh, Martins is going to come off. There we go. Cody Warnock's going to take this. Nope, I'm wrong <laughs> again. 0 for 2 on that one. <laughs> it's all right. St. A's won it. Shot from the point. Kicked away by Tadino. Out front in the slot. That was Millette trying to find Sterling there with the backhanded drop pass. Out front, Millette shot blocked. Again, the anchorman defense doing a good job in front of Tadino. Centering pass there in the direction of Olette. Again, kicked away. St. A's here again, making a late run in this period. Losing possession there. St. A's has it, slap shot, knocked out of play. That was Scotty doing a good job getting away of that shot off the stick of, I believe, that was number 25, who's not listed on their roster, so we have no idea who that is. <laughs> Coach gave me his actual roster for the game, too. Burns wins the faceoff for St. A's. Anchorman in possession. Nadiger kicks it up. Giving chases to Fusco. De Fusco oh, nearly won it. He did. Centered. No one there for the anchorman. Back in possession is St. A's. Attacking here. Ooh. Terranova had it there for a little while for the anchorman. Ran all the way to Dodino. Tadino, he covers it up. Everyone's changing lines here. 244, 3 0 here in the second period. Anchorman in control of this one. Dominant from the start. A goal from Cody Warnock within the first two minutes of this game. Loose puck there. 
giving chase. See who gets it. Mike Young nearly got to it. Robbins had to come way out of his crease but to keep that away from see Young. Very often, that, especially with a defenseman that close. That is aggressive defending there by Robbins. At this point, though, down three, you can take risks. Exactly. Sterling and Tobias are going to take this face off in the neutral zone. Tobias wins it for the anchorman. Mark Nelly throws it off the boards. Moore has got it. Offside there. Tobias went a little early. That was close, though. Another, another neutral zone faceoff here. Tobias was saying something there to Sterling. I couldn't see it, but he was gesturing over his head. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Nanager tried clearing it. In possession is tearing over for St. Anselm. Tried to leave it in the middle for Sterling, who was in the slot. I think we're going to get a penalty called there. Believe that's going to be on Martinelli. Oh, and we're getting the hand oh. flap there by Sterling and Tobias. They've been <laughs> chit-chatting it up here a little bit. Oh, actually, that's Nadiger. the penalty. Yes, exactly. The penalty is on Nadiger. So another penalty kill opportunity here for the Anchorman. Another opportunity for St. A's to work with the man advantage and cut into this three to nothing lead. 219 left in the period. I'm interested to see how the rest of the night goes between Tobias and Sterling. Harnish has got it. Over to Terranova. Excuse me, that's not Terranova, that's Olette. Cleared by the Anchorman all the way down to Robbins. Robbins leaves it for Harnish. Olette now for St. A's. Millette knocks it in the direction of Sterling. Cut out by Huber. No, good deflection there. Olette backhand across the face of goal. Wow. Kicked away by Tadino. He's having a great night so far. Again, Robbins has got it. Leaves it for Murphy. Here comes St. A's. Murphy, the defender, taking it coast to coast. Wrist shot into the chest of Tadino. Rebound. Picked up by Sterling, again into the chest of Tadino with the wrist shot. Another save there for Vinny Tadino. A lot of shots just right into the chest of Tadino. Face off in the attacking zone. Burns is going to step up as well as Natalizia. Valenti now for St. A's. Loose pass there. He's got it back. Haley's got it. Tried to deke his way past Mora. Lost possession of it. Natalizzi has got it. Now Mora knocks it past Harnish. Got it. Wrist shot. Oh. Tried to go over the shoulder of Robbins there. Good job staying tall. Shouldering that one out. Harnish has got it. Through the neutral zone, up into the attacking zone. Tadino's got it behind the net, leaves it for Conway. Conway tries clearing it, can't. Murphy's got it. Over to Millette. Millette, Haley, nearly fell to the stick of Burns. Now Tadino's got it, covers it up. 33 seconds left in this period, 15 seconds left on this power play for St. A's. They're down 3 nothing. Penalty kill has been effective for the anchorman. Definitely, that's one thing they needed to work on. Just like Cal said in between periods, they know how to work on it. Cleared by the anchorman off the faceoff. Robbins knocks it up to Olette. Olette over to Murphy. Valenti's got it. Back, back at full strength of the anchorman. Nadiger comes out of the box. Huber's just going to clear it down the ice. Ten seconds in the period. Robbins pressured there. A huge oh, hit huge behind hit. the net. There we that go. That was Cody Warnock. Huge hit on, on Valenti. Mike Valenti from St. A's knocked off his skates. At the end of two, it's 3 nothing Anchorman. We're going to step away, and we have an interview with head coach Chris, Gw Chris Gwynn on the way. Stick around. With me right now is head coach Chris Gwynn. Chris, obviously your team, you're up 3-0. You guys are playing well today. How do you feel Vinny about in that? 
Uh, Vinny's been very, very solid in that. His angles have been good. Uh, his rebound control has been very good. Uh, a little gave up a little bit in that last period. A couple of shots he gave right back to him. Uh, if, as long as he cleans that up and he stays on his angles, he's going to pretty much keep them out of the back of the net. How are you feeling about St. A's this year? I know you guys haven't played them in a while. I was talking to the coach before. He said there's a lot of new kids. How do you feel about them? They're a very strong and very deep team. They don't taper off at all when they run through their lines. You can see where the new guys coming in, their timing isn't quite there. Their, their positioning is very well. They play very hard. They're a very physical team. Uh, I see them in the middle of the year really turning it on and being a very strong team. Now I ask Kyle the same question to end it. What are you going to go tell your team downstairs to keep it up? Uh, their intensity has to stay up. We slacked off on that. Our, we're, we have to play with speed, and we didn't do that in the second period, and it showed a lot at times. So when I go back down there, it's, it's preaching is going to be speed out there. We have to get that intensity up and keep the momentum off of St. A's. There you go. You, got, you guys have a lot of speed out there. All right, guys, this is head coach Chris Gwynn. We'll be right back with the third period here on Anchor TV. Jared Ware back here inside the Lynch Arena with Sam Allen. The anchorman threw two periods up 3-0 over the St. Anselm Hawks. Ghosts and stuff playing right now over the intercom. <laughs> it's been goals and stuff for the anchorman thus far. Just 20 minutes away from starting the season one, starting the season one and zero. Sam, what are your thoughts so far in this one? I'm liking how the team's looking. I was a little skeptical, like I said, at the beginning of the game with all the new kids, but I definitely think we got a good group of guys this year, and I'm excited to see how far they can go. You hit upon in pregame as well as in the hockey preview in the anchor about the young speed on this team, and we've seen it. Panone hasn't played as much as we thought he would, but number 17, Mark. Natalizia has been fantastic for the anchorman so far. Oh yeah, and he doesn't just have speed, he has the stick handling to go along with the speed. You might be able to skate fast, but if you can't handle the puck, you're not gonna go anyway. And Vinny Tadino in net tonight for the anchorman has been a brick wall. I love it. He is the story tonight. Second string goalie moved up to first after this for this year. I like it. Tobias wins it for the anchorman in possession now of Marco Scotti up towards Mora. Loses it briefly. Knocked back into the attacking zone by Tobias. Picked up there by Harnish. Harnish plays it over to Haley. St. Anselm's looking to break out here down three. Could not find the stick of Anthony Murphy. Second line on the ice for St. Anselm. Possession now with Scotty. Loose pass there from Mike Young. Mike Young's been quiet tonight, one of the leaders of this team. But it's good to see the anchorman with a 3-0 lead here. No goals from Martin and Young, so it looks like this team is deep in terms of goal scorers at this point. Loose puck in front of the net. Wow. Backhander there by Olette, kicked away by Tadino, and then Scotty came around and gloved it away. Dangerous bit of play there from St. Anselm. They're going to have to have a tremendous period here to come back. Anchorman need to stay aware, though. Rose has got it. Flicks one in the direction of Robbins. He knocks it away with the stick behind the net. Murphy's got it. In front, Rose, Rister, a little too high there. Millette picks it up in the corner. Spence, or er, excuse me, Sterling knocked off it there. Millette's got it now for St. Ace through the neutral zone. Attacking Nadiger. Flicks a wrist shot. It's going to go out of play. We'll get the first face off here of the third period. Took a little longer to get a whistle. Yeah, last period we saw early whistles in, this, in the second period. Now first one here, 18-31 in the third period here. Early opportunity in this period for St. A's. Olette could not finish right in front of the goalie. Nadiger's got it in the corner. Pressure there by McAdam. Anchorman half possession now. Could not see who that was. That was Lyman trying to skate out of the zone with that. Nadiger's got it, pushes it towards Lyman. Lyman falls over, loses possession. Luckily, Nadiger there was, was there to clean up. Spence is not feeling good after that one. Spencer Rose is going to come off the ice here. He's hurting. Shot, little wrist shot there in the corner, blocked away by Tadino. Ryan Martin's on the ice, has it. Has Lyman to his left, has ice. Is he going to take it? Yes, tried going oh. top shelf over Robbins. Again, Robbins is flailing all over the place out of the crease. Kept it out of the net, stays 3-0. Great chance, probably the best chance of the night for Ryan Martins. Definitely. 
Top shelf is where he likes to shoot. It's where he knows how to shoot. As deadly as Martins is, a good job there by Robbins staying tall. Aggressive goalkeeping. We've seen it all night. Goaltending. Wurzberger giving chase. He picks it up. Passes up to Haley. A little too strong there. Huber just knocks it back into the attacking zone. Knocked around by Robbins. Haley's going to pick it up on the boards. Could only get it as far as Huber. Haley's got it now. Skating his way through the neutral zone there. Goes shoulder to shoulder with Ryan Martins. Harnish has got it. Bruno and Martins. Little bit of a little bit of sloppy play there, but the anchorman clear it. Nat Elizia, we talked about him before this period started. Speed on top of speed. He's in the corner. Centers in the direction of Martin. Couldn't get a shot off there. Wurzberger blocked it. Then Martin tries centering it. Gets it. Wrist shot into the chest of Robbins. A little bit of frustration there from Ryan Martins. Took a few shots mm -hmm. there. Has not gotten anything going tonight. He's one of those players. He likes to get a goal a game. I think all forwards do. That's this the selfish streak. You know. <laughs> if you're not scoring goals as a forward, you you're feel disappointed your in your in your performance. St. A's wins the face off. Picked up in the corner there. Conway's got it at center ice for the anchorman. Throws it all the way to Robbins. Stick save. Not really a save. Just keeping possession of it. Millette's got it. Tried going with the cross ice pass in the direction of Olette. First line out for St. A's. And a goal there. A bouncing oh puck. My God. Just lifted from the neutral zone by number 25, who's not on the roster. We mentioned that earlier. Just a bouncing puck there, really just a free goal there. Took a tough bounce in front of Tadino and slipped in underneath his arm on the blocker side. We mentioned earlier, glove side for, for Tadino. He's almost unstoppable. That one sneaked in blocker side, so it's 3-1. 16-26 left in the third period. Anchorman with the most dangerous lead in hockey at two goals. I still can't even say anything. Coach Gwynn mentioned <laughs> The anchormen need to keep their intensity up here, and now they're definitely going to be challenged here down the stretch as St. A's has cut it to two. Luther's got it there. Looked like he was being dragged back by Murphy. Nothing there. Haley's got it. Conway defending. Haley skates his way past Conway. Haley out front nearly found the stick of Burns. St. A's playing for keeps here in the third period. Morris got it. Stick handles his way through the neutral zone. Shovels it up to Defusco. In the corner, Mora loses it. Sterling's got it. Sterling attacking. Nadiger defending. Low shot there, kicked away by Tadino. Tadino is going to let in nothing by him now, nothing even close to him. Olet's got it around the back. Nadiger picks it up from the anchorman, shovels it around the boards. Morris got it. Mora looking for Tobias. Knocked off his stick here. We have a whistle. Cross check on someone. Not exactly sure. This would be big if this is on the anchorman. Oh, and it, it looks like it's going to be on Sterling for St. A's. Blow for them as they've cut into this lead here in the third period. It's 3-1. to one. Just a, a free goal. A lob from the neutral zone just takes a crazy bounce off the ice. Slips past Tadino. Anchorman on the power play, though. Luther out on the ice. Martin's out on the ice. Alex Lyman on the ice. Two goal scorers on the ice right now for the anchorman. They're looking to get another and really seal this victory. Conway in the corner. Shovels it forwards. Luther's got it. Drops it off for Martins. Martin in the corner. Picks out Conway, cross ice to Scotty. Scotty flicks one into the, into the traffic in front of the net, kicked away by Robbins. Martin's in possession here. He wants a goal bad. You can see it. Oh, he does. Dribbles his way, drops it. Dribbles his way, skates his way, <laughs> drops it off. <laughs> you see your basketball there, huh? Millett tries to clear it. Martin steals away. Slap shot from oh. Scotty. Kick save, there rebound. Lyman is second of the game. Quick reactions there by Alex Lyman. Johnny on the spot, kick save from Robbins, fell right on the blade of Alex Lyman, and he makes no mistake on the doorstep 
Four to one, three goal lead restored, and it looks like things could be over for the Hawks. Alex Lyman, the senior, having a terrific game. He's got two goals tonight. Just been tremendous. The senior forward from Seekonk, Massachusetts. Anchorman just need to kill about 14 and a half minutes in this one. They've been dominant. Burns has it for St. A's. Someone's mouthpiece is loose <laughs> on the ice. Valenti's got it for St. A's. Throws it off the boards. Huber's got it for the Anchorman. Tries chipping it forwards there, gloved by Murphy. He throws it in, Bruno's got it. Up in the direction of Warnock, who's got Lyman on his right. Lyman wants on a hat trick, <laughs> couldn't get it. Collision there, Huber in possession, skates it down to the corner. Tries wrapping around, poked away. Lyman's got it. Up to the point, Warnock, slap shot. Deflected on its way. Missed wide right. A broken stick, I believe. And a goal. And a goal there. I missed the goal. I was watching Completely the stick. Completely missed it. <laughs> and the goalie the is not, is 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 not, not happy. happy. Yeah. I don't really know who the goal was. I don't know who scored that. I want to say it might have been Anthony because Warnock and Lyman were a little far back, but I'm not entirely sure. We'll listen in for the announcement. We saw a slap shot come <laughs> in. Off the stick of Warnock, it was deflected on its way. There was a broken stick. Somehow the stick got knocked out of the hand of Robbins, and the puck ended up in the back of the net. So we'll play you in when we fill, when we get filled in. It was debris and body flying all over the place in the crease. That's a good hockey game. So it's five to one now. Some discussion here. That's Olette. He was talking to the ref there, trying to figure out what happened. Tobias and Sterling. We're going to try and get a replay up so we can take a look at what happened on that goal. As the as St. A's has it in the corner. Into the neutral zone, Mora's got it. Mora leaves it off to Nadiger. Nadiger's got it in the corner. Now Tobias behind the net. Olette's got it, knocks it into the neutral zone, past they Sterling, slap shot Warnock. into the chest of Tadino. So Warnock picks up his second of the game. Two from Warnock, two from Lyman, and one, one from Luther. Moment of panic there as the clearance went past the stick of Mike Young. Sterling got a slap shot away, but could only find the chest of Tadino. Tadino's going to need to ice his midsection down as Young. He's got the puck in some space here. Tried to deke his way around Murphy, who did a good job bodying him up. Murphy's got it now in the corner. Nameless 25 throws it <laughs> off against the boards. Scotty's got it. Scotty for a freshman has been solid in defense tonight. Great pairing of Scotty and, and I believe that's Conway. Those two have been solid all night for the Anchorman. The Anchorman defense in general has been fantastic tonight. Only sort of a freak goal, a bad bounce getting past Tadino. Five to one. Conway, slap shot, knocked away. Murphy's got it for St. A's. Little too strong there, headed in the direction of number 15, Sparrow. Scotty over to Conway, off the skate of Luther. Harnish picks it up over to Wurzberger. St. A's has got it. This is Roley. Roley, Rister, glove save by Tadino. You're not beating them on that side. Nope. <laughs> There's 10 minutes left. I think they know that by now. So let's see if we can get a replay of this, this goal here. We're going to take a look at it. It's going to come out to the point at some point here. 
Slap shot in by Warnock, knocked around behind, picked up there, and just, I think that was just a good, good no angle goal there by Warnock. I, I, I don't know. Even missed it there on the replay. <laughs> it, it got crazy. Got crazy in front of the net there. Huber had it down by the goal at one point. He fired it in there. All that matters at this point is that it's in the back of the net. It's 5-1. to one. Warnock's got two. Started off the year. Opened things up with inside of two minutes. He got his first goal of the year. We saw a goal from Brian Luther on the power play. Two in succession across, I believe that was across two periods, yes. from Lyman. And then Warnock gets his second. So we have two players on, the on, the, on a hat trick. See if anyone can pull it off. Don't jinx them now. I have confidence in him. Valenti's got it. Skating his way through the neutral zone. Lays it off. Knocked in there by Valonis. Flicked in towards Dino. He kicks it away. That came off the stick of Terranova. Terranova again just throws it in towards Dino and he kicks and he covers that one up. We've seen short periods where St. Anselm has been dangerous, not able to really uh, to sustain sustain any legitimate offense so far, and the Air Command have been in control of this since the word go. <laughs> Face off, kicked around, Lyman's got it. Warnock knocks it over to Lyman. Rose has got it, tries to drop one for Lyman. Little loose with that pass, and it gets knocked back all the way to the boards, and we're going to get an icing call there. Both Lyman, Lyman and Warnock on the ice for the anchorman. Nadiger is going to come off the bench. Martinelli is going to come off the bench here. Rose is going to take the face off. He's going to square off against Rowley. One by the anchorman. Lyman's got it. Kicks it back to Nadiger. Nadiger throws it up the boards. Rose was given chase. Murphy's got it now for St. A's. McAdam has it. Through the neutral zone. Knocked over by Rose from behind. I think we're going to get a delayed penalty call. Yep. We are. So Spencer Rose is going to take a seat in the sin bin. And St. A's is going to go on the power play for two minutes. At this point, just another opportunity to get your penalty kill off the ice. Obviously, you don't want to see those guys. But tonight, the Rhode Island College special teams have been fantastic. They had a power play goal earlier and have killed off multiple power play attempts from St. A's. First line for St. A's on the ice. Sterling cannot win the faceoff against Martin. Martinelli tries shoveling it clear. Can't. Can't get it past number two. Murphy finally gets it clear. It's going to roll all the way to Martins. Good job there by Martins with the poke check in at center ice. Anchorman going to clear it again. That's off the stick of Nadiger. Ryan Martin's giving chase. Murphy's got it. Skates his way through, new, through the neutral zone. Slows things up. Drops it off for Olette. It's going to roll. It's going to run all the way to Millette. Olette's got it. Murphy at the point. Over to Olette. Back to Murphy. Over to Harnish. He's had a few opportunities in this game. Hasn't got the puck to get into the net. Slap shot. There we go. Blocked away there by Martins. It's a two on one. Oh, oh, nifty pass attempt that there by Larry nice. Anthony. Good job by the St. Anselm defense, but that would have been a, a highlight reel goal. Definitely. Olette skates his way. Puck nearly sneaks in the near post there. Good job by Tadino getting his leg down, blocking that one. Larry Anthony there getting, getting fancy when you're up 5-1. to one. <laughs> I think you're all right with that stuff if you're – if you're Coach Quisk, Quinn. No, oh, that was not. Oh, and, and during Martin's that action, Martin's going to pick up another penalty. So it's a five on three now. We saw four on three for St. A's. This is a five on three. Harnish going to take a shot from now. the point. Good block there wow. by Warnock, sacrificing his body for the team. And he just sacrificed his stick. So this should get interesting. Does not have a stick right now. So it's really five on two at the moment. Warnock grabs a stick off the bench. Harnish has got it for St. A's. Throws Warnock's it up around the ball. Warnock's going to have a nice bruise tomorrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Took that one right off the chest. 
Haley's got it. Harnish, he wants it. Wants to unleash a slap shot. Good block again by Warnock. <laughs> Gotta, Gotta love his tenacity. Brave. Bravery on the five on three right now. Not letting anything get to Tadino. All hockey players have a little, a few screws loose. They like to dive in front of pucks. Valenti there and Warnock got tied up for a little bit, cleared away. Out comes Rose, he picks up possessions right away, nearly got past, where's, uh, excuse me, Harnish. A little bit of a collision there, Haley's got it. We're back to a four on five. Haley, Rister, covered up by Tadino. Gotta give Cody Warnock all the mm -hmm. credit in the world. Two goals today, also two huge blocks on that five on three, sacrificing his body. The coaches are definitely gonna take note of that in the post game speech. Star of the game a little bit, possibly. Your three stars for sure right now have to be Warnock, Lyman, as well as Tadino. Those three have been excellent tonight, especially Tadino between the pipes. Easily could have kept a clean sheet here tonight. Just a, a crazy deflection gets in. Five to one here. 7.35 left in this one. The anchorman cruising here. Valenti's got it. For St. A's, up towards Olet, a little too strong. Bruno's got it. Over to Huber. In the direction of TJ Giacvani. Millette's got it. Looking for, that's number 17, Raleigh. Falls to Sterling. Rister, wide. Did he know he needs to just get back in the net? <laughs> Tanit. St. A's pulled their goalie okay. there, missed that missed in the that. action. Empty net here. It just went right across the crease. Almost had a six goal. Opportunity to make it six to one. San A's pulling out all the stops now. They're down four. Might just be my personal opinion, but I feel like six minutes is a little early to be pulling your goalie. I don't Very care how early. big of a lead the other team has. McAdams got it for San A's. Wrists one in the direction of the net. It hit Murphy on the way. Anthony Murphy hit Anthony Murphy on the way towards the goal. Whipped around, Murphy's got it again. He's got to hold it, just throws it in the attacking zone. Nadiger knocks it down, over to Martinelli. This falls onto the stick, missed wide there by Nick DeFusco, looking to open up his just account. Can't get it. Kicked around, DeFusco's gonna pick it up in the corner. If he can find someone's stick wearing a white jersey, it could be six nothing. Good job defending there, but lucky there as number mm -hmm. 12. Burns picks it up, lost possession of it, fell and knocked the goalie off the peg. I mean, knocked the net off the pegs. <laughs> up so and the goalie comes back in. So Robbins will come back in. 6.03 left in this one. We'll see if St. A's pulls the goalie if they get possession here. That would be interesting. Again, six minutes left in this game. <laughs> to play with an empty net is, is an A interesting risky. strategy. Yeah. Burns and Martin. St. A's wins the faceoff. 25's got it. Over to Murphy. Murphy up in the direction of Burns. He couldn't handle it. Nadiger's got it. Looking to find Natalizia. Murphy's got it now behind the net. Up to Haley. Haley over to Anthony Murphy. Murphy attacking. Trying to get past Nadiger. Good bit of handles there. Nadiger recovers though. Martins has got it. He's got to buy, or excuse me, Pannone. Pannone, empty net, and he hits the oh post. Man. Looking to open up his, the freshman looking <laughs> to open up his anchorman account, and he can't do it on the empty net. Rattles the post. Haley's got it now for St. A's. Playing a dangerous game here. Lyman, he, you know he wants the puck. Mm -hmm. He's on a hat trick right now. Millette dives for it. Scotty had to leap over him to avoid a huge collision. Lobbed in. That was Olette who lobbed it in there from the neutral zone. It's very rare when you see a five on six. But no one's got to get another opportunity. There. Again. Again. <laughs> can't get it to go. Terranova got across, got across and blocked the shot. Lyman. He had it for a moment. Thought he was going to get his hat trick there. Defense swarms, knocks it away. Valenti's got it now for St. A's. 4.30 left in this game. 
Anchorman are cruising here, up five. Shot deflected off the stick of Valenti, goes into the chest of Tadino. Valenti crashes and he gets the business end of it. You don't right. attack the goalie. First rule of hockey. See who that was who came over. That was Rose who came yep. over. Went chest to chest with Valenti, protecting his goaltender. Players are going to skate back to the benches here. They're going to have a discussion. St. A's looking for anything. Mm -hmm. Down four, 425. Eh, it's not going to happen. You would have to see something <laughs> crazy here oh down yeah. the stretch for them to come back in this one. It's been a solid performance by the anchormen. Penalty kill. Power plays look good. We, had, we were down two men, still nothing. It's a good team this year. I'm excited for the rest of the season. Cody Warnock with two, Lyman with two, and Ryan Luther with the other. Two guys have an opportunity to pick up the hat trick. Tadino has been immense between the pipes tonight for the anchorman. Only that one sort of crazy goal that got in. Which wasn't even really his fault or anyone's no, fault. No, it's just a You wild don't expect bounce. the puck to do it. That's tough. Regardless of the sport, whether it be soccer or hockey, Goaltenders hate mm -hmm. when the puck or the ball takes a wild bounce in front of them. Just that factor of unpredictability caught Tadino out. But other than that, he's been just tremendous. Olette takes the face off. Knocked away there by Warnock. Up there to Lyman. Lyman. Lyman's going to pick up the hat trick. There we go. Third goal Good tonight for, for Lyman. Alex Lyman, the senior from Seekonk. Picks up his third goal of the night. It's six to one. He won't score an easier goal all year. Nope. <laughs> Lyman was a new addition to the team at second semester last year, too. He's definitely, I was not expecting him to impact the team like this. Anchorman, well, they closed it out a few minutes ago. <laughs> I but think another they closed it out measure. in the second period. Patting the stats, Lyman, the hat trick tonight. Congratulations to him. No one threw their hat on the ice, which isn't awesome. <laughs> Rose wins it briefly for the anchorman, pulled down by Sparrow. Sparrow, wrister, knocked away by Tadino. Puck was loose in front of the net, cleared away by Huber. St. Anselm has it, thrown in the attacking zone. Tadino's got it. Tried handing it off there to Bruno. Knocked behind the net, Huber giving chase. Sparrow had it. Tried just centering it. No one there for St. A's. Bruno. Huber. Warnock's got it. Just trying to get it clear here. Just looking to milk this last three, minute, three minutes and 30 seconds. Tried to get it over to 25. Rattles off the boards in a way. Picked up here by Mora. Mora deserves a goal. He's played a he great does. game tonight. Into the chest of Robbins. He's got it again, though. Attacking, try, went backhand there, a little too high. I believe Raleigh has it now for St. A's. Taking on the entire Anchorman defense by himself. Tried to drop one behind him in the direction of Kornak. Loose with that one, scrum on the boards. Tobias is in there. Nadiger was in there, centered, good job there. Staying alert and awake with Huber, knocked it away from McAdam. Last thing you want to do is give up a second goal here. Puck loose in front, knocked away. Slight opportunity for St. A's. Valenti throws one in, deflected off Tobias' stick before it got all the way to Tadino. St. A's putting some pressure in the face of Tadino late here. Too little, too late, though, as they're down five goals. <laughs> Icing called on the anchorman, just trying to keep keep it clear here, keep it clean. Five to one, or six to one, excuse me. <laughs> Close this game out. Coaching staff obviously is going to want to see their team compete, obviously, to the end of the game. Tobias in the center circle. He's taking on Sparrow. Valenti's got it at center ice. Nadiger clears it. 
falls to the stick of Brian Luther. Knocked around. Nadiger finds the stick of Mora. Mora on the attack again. I'm pretty sure Luther was offside there. I, I think so. It's all right. No one saw it. Refs blow it dead there. Two minutes left in this one. Late game tonight, 11.30. Oh my God. Eastern Standard Time, obviously. <laughs> I got work at 7.30 in the morning. Face off, Luther. Falls to Wurzberger. Flicked up there. That was off the stick of Kornak. Tadino knocks it away. Warnack, Kornak's got it again in the direction of McAdams. Puck loose in front of the goal. Falls kindly to the st stick of Marco Scotti. Again, the anchorman can't get it away. Luther's got it now at center ice. Nearly got away from Harnish. Oh, a oh, huge hit. Good hit by Scott. Yeah, he hits like a bus. McAdam is down after that one. Marco Scotti, the freshman, delivering. I don't think McAdams knows where he is. Scotty's going to go into the box for that one. Yeah, it was worth it. That's one of those things you're just going to take the penalty if that hit was worth it. Huge hit there. I think we're going to be down four on five for the rest of the game. One minute and 30, uh, 20, one, 128 left in this one. We'll be exact. <laughs> Sterling's going to take the face off here for the Hawks. Looking to just salvage, salvage something here late. Thrown in the direction of the goal. In the slot. Knocked around. Cleared away. Slap shot comes in. Kicked away by Tadino. Get a whistle here. Get a face off here. Sterling and is that Tobias or Pannone? I can't I believe it's Pannone. Okay. I was gonna say Tobias. Oh, let's got it for St. A's. Back to the point. A cross over to Murphy. Murphy throws it into the corner. Millette's got it. Centers it. No one there. Okay. Goalie pulled again for St. A's. So it's six on four right now. Because five on four isn't enough. Centered in the direction of Sterling. Couldn't get a shot off. Millette's got it. Back to Sterling. Centers in the direction of Murphy. Can't get a shot off. Tadino has to fall on wow. it. Puck was loose there in the crease. Good awareness by Tadino. 41 seconds left in this one. Anchorman well on their way to a victory. Tadino, though, you know as a goalkeeper, wants to keep the goals to a minimum. It's been excellent all night long. Nick DeFusco is going to take the face off against Sterling. Sterling wins it. Murphy over to Harnish. Olette's got it. Rister blocked. That was Nadiger in the way of that one. Olette's got it again. Tries to backhand one in front of the goal. Nearly finds its way into the net. And again, Tadino has to <laughs> fall on it to keep it out. Action in the goal mouth right now. The crease has been active the last few, last half minute or so. Saint A's, you can tell they want another goal. They have six men on the ice right now. Defuse go again and Sterling go at it. Harnish keeps it in. Drops it behind to Olette. Harnish gonna take the slap shot. Misses high. Sterling's got it. Across to Olette. Rister. Nice job there by Defusco getting across and blocking that shot. Olette's got it. It's going to center, and that's it. The Anchorman start the year with a big win, 6-1 to one at home inside the Lynch Arena. Dominant performance. Three goals from Lyman. Two goals from Warnock and one goal from Brian Luther. We're going to send Sam Allen down onto the ice to get an interview with the, one of the stars of the game. She's running down there right now. Just a tremendous performance. We're going to step away for a moment. I'm Jared Ware. Sam Allen going down to the ice to get, in, to get an interview. I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in to Anchor TV. Stick around for this on-ice interview from Sam Allen.
I'm Sam Allen here with Alex Lyman, the number one star of the game. Got a hat trick in his first game of the season. Alex, you're on the line with Cody Warnock, who you've been friends with for a while. Do you think that's helping you out a little bit? Uh, yeah, I definitely. I think we have chemistry. We play together all our lives, so definitely helps out a bit. How'd you feel? I mean, hat trick, empty netter, kind of helped out a little bit. But how are you feeling about this game? Yeah, I mean, I was just glad that we played well together as a team. I didn't really care about getting a hat trick, but it was nice to get it at the end. I mean. What are you thinking for tomorrow night? You guys are taking on Roger Williams. They beat you last year. I mean, I know it's kind of a touchy subject for you guys, but how are you guys feeling? Yeah, that's the big one. I mean, as long as we come out fast like we played today, all three periods, I think we can take it home. Hopefully we can get some revenge. All right, there you guys have it. That was our first game. Anchorman take it with a score of 6-1. to one. Alex Lyman, number one star of the game. I'm Sam Allen. For myself and Jared Ware, have a great night.